<clears throat> Hello guys, um, I'm sending you this video because I won't be with you on Thursday because I'm at a math conference. I will miss seeing each one of you in class and I hope that you watch this video instead and miss me too and learn from the video. Um, a couple things I wanna go over with you. I will be emailing this. And for those of you guys who don't check your email regularly, I'm gonna also post an OMS with a due date. So you have to do it, okay? Um, we're gonna go over really quickly the four representations of a relation. Um, there's a set of ordered pairs, the graph, the table, and mapping. We talked briefly about mapping at the end of class um, because that was the new way that we weren't necessarily familiar with. Today, I'm gonna show you, go over the other three methods and how they all work together, okay? So the first way is what if I give you a set of ordered pairs? What if I give you a set of ordered pairs? What do I do? Well, I can take that set of ordered pairs and I can write it all three other ways. So probably it would be easiest to go from a set of ordered pairs to a graph, because all we have to do is graph these points. So we'll start with 4, 1. 4, 1 means I'm gonna go over four. So I'm gonna go over one, two, three, four. I'm gonna go up one and plot a point, okay? The next point is negative two, three, which means I'm gonna go back two, and then up one, two, three. And the next point is negative one, negative two. I'm gonna go back one, down one, two. So that is how I represent this func this relation as a graph. So I represent it as ordered pairs, as a graph. Now I'm gonna write it as a table. So a table is really easy. All we do is write the ordered pairs next to each other. Four and one, negative two and three, and negative one and negative two. This is one reason why this unit is so easy. We're literally just rewriting stuff. The last thing we're gonna do is the mapping. So the mapping, we always have our X, which is another word for our X is our domain, and our Ys, which is our range, okay? And the thing about the mapping is we have to put a little star here. This one's a little bit different because with a mapping, we go from least to greatest with no repeats. So we write it just like we would if we were writing our domain and range. So our domain is our x values. So my x values here are four, negative two, and negative one. So I'm gonna write those in order from least to greatest. Negative two, negative one, positive four. Our range is our y values. Our y values are positive one, positive three, and negative two. So I write those from least to greatest. Negative two, positive one, positive three. Now, Notice here that with the table, with the table, we were going from, let me do spotlight. With the table, I was going everything paired up. With the mapping, it's not necessarily in order. We're going to draw arrows to show what goes together, even though it's not in order. So four went with one. So we draw an arrow from four to one. Negative two went with three. So we draw an arrow from negative two to three and negative one went to negative two, okay? That is how we do this. That is how we show all four methods. Now, the next slide, the next few slides, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at, if I give you a table, can you go from a table to a set of ordered pairs? Can you go from a table to a graph? Do you go from a table to a mapping? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys a second to try this, I'm gonna pa uh, pause the recording and let you guys try the next one on your own, if I can get it to go over there. There we go. So the next one, I'm giving you a graph, and I want you to take that graph, and I want you to write it as a set of order pairs, a table, and a mapping. So I'm gonna pause the recording, give you guys a second, and let you try that. All right, so let's look at this. You should have taken a second and you should have looked at the graph. I should look to the wrong page. Hold on a second. Hold on. Okay, now this is better. So what we see here is we had a graph and we had to go from a graph to order pairs to a table, to a mapping. It's easiest to go from graph to ordered pairs because we just write down where the points are. 
So this point is at negative one, two, three, four, down three. So we have negative four, negative three. We have back one, two, three, four, up four, so negative four, four, negative one, zero, two, two, and three, negative four. Those are our order pairs. Then we go to a table. You just write them side by side across from each other. The big difference here is with the mapping, okay? The mapping, we go and we go from least to greatest, so they go out of order, and like we have two negative fours in the table, we only have one negative four in the mapping because we don't do repeats. So we had negative four, negative one, two, and three, negative four, negative three, zero, two, and four. We drew the arrows to match the points. Okay, so that's how we go from a graph to the three other forms. All right, the next thing we're gonna look at is what if I have a mapping? How do I go from a mapping to the other three? How do I go from a mapping to the other three? What should I do? Okay, so I'm gonna pause the recording again. I want you guys to take a second and I want you guys to try to go from a mapping to a table, ordered pairs, and a graph. Okay, you're gonna go to all three. So this one's a little bit trickier because the mapping is new to you guys. You just have to go, I would go straight from the mapping to either the order pairs or the table. So for the mapping, negative three was negative one. So we have negative three, negative one. Negative three, negative one, and then we plot negative three, negative one. For the next one, we have negative one, negative two. So negative one, negative two, negative one, negative two, negative one, negative two. Then we have zero, three, all three places. And then four is a little tricky because you have four, two is your first order pair and four, four is your second. Four goes with two values. That's why we have over four up two, over four up four. That's exactly how we go from a mapping. Now, the last one we're gonna do, and we're gonna talk about one new thing, is how do I go from a table? to the other three, from a table to the other three. So I'm gonna pause this one and let you guys try. Okay. Okay, so this, this one is also fairly easy because the table is basically set up like our ordered pairs. So four, three is our first order pair, five, two, one, negative one, and two, two. Okay, we easily graph those. And then the mapping, just remember the mapping, we go from least to greatest with no repeats. So the Ys, we repeated the twos. So we only wrote it one time. There's two arrows going to the twos. Okay, so these are all four ways we can represent a relation. You need to be comfortable going through each different method. Okay, we're gonna now really quickly talk about functions because that's what your lesson is on today. So functions are not that hard to do if you understand relations. Okay, so now that we've looked at the different ways we can represent a relation, let's talk about functions, okay? So what is a function? That's what your lesson is today. And this is such an important thing. We're gonna talk about it over and over and over. And it's really not that complicated. All we need to know is that a function is a relation where each input gives back exactly one output. So what does that mean? What does that mean? That means basically that each x, each x I have, each input x, will give back exactly one output y, okay? So in other words, and you can write this down, in other words, a function is a relation where the domain does not repeat, okay? So the domain does not repeat. 
All right, and we're gonna talk about this a lot more on Monday. I just wanna introduce the idea to you guys right now. I want you to be familiar with it and know what it is, okay? So function is where the X's do not repeat. So we're gonna look at some of the examples we just did and we're gonna say, is this a function, yes or no, okay? So if we look at our first example, let's see, click, hold on. I meant to write that down. So a function is a relation where each input x gives back exactly one output y. Okay, so let's look at the first one we did. So the first one we did was ordered pairs. All right, so we look at this, you see that our input is 4, negative 2, and negative 1. And each one of these is 4, negative 2, and negative 1. Do I repeat any of my x values here? The answer is no. So this is not just a relation, it's a relation and it is a function, okay? This particular example is a relation and it is a function. All right, let's look at the next one. All right, I went too far. All right, so this one, let's look at our x values. Let's look at our x values. So my x values here in this first one, my input is 4, 5, 1, and 2. All right, 4, 5, 1, and 2. Looking at that, do I repeat any of my x values? Do I repeat any of my x values? And I'm pausing here thinking you guys are going to list answer, but this is a recording. So right now you should be saying, no, Ms. Hagen, I do not repeat any of my x values. So for this one, I would say this is a relation and it is a function. So it's not just relation, it's also a function. All right. So that makes sense. So none of the x is repeated. Let's try the next one. The next one, let's look at those X values. We don't even care about the Y values, guys. Y values can do whatever they wanna do. It's just those X values. So my X values here are three, two, negative one, negative four, and negative four. Here, those negative fours repeat. They repeat. So right here, because these are the same, that means that this is not a function. So this is just a relation. So it's not a function, not a function. It's not a function because the X's repeat. So this is just a relation because the X values here, the negative four and the negative four repeat. So this is just a relation, not a function, okay? All right, and the last one I want us to look at is the last example. So this one I gave you the mapping. So we want to look and see, and it honestly it's easiest to see that um, from the ordered pairs, but here's how you can tell from the mapping. I've got two arrows coming from the positive four. I have that positive four repeats twice. So that means that's a repeat, okay? So my x values are negative three, negative one, zero, four, and four. The four is a repeat. So since they are repeat, that means that this is, you guessed it, this is a relation, but not a function, okay? So it's really, really easy to determine between functions and relations. Functions just have to have no repeats in the x's, okay? So please go over your lesson today, watch it, pay attention carefully. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. Um, best of luck to you all. I will miss you guys and do your lessons. I can't stress that enough. Y'all know how many times I say that. I get so sick of hearing my own voice. But you guys are going to do great. Do your lessons and I'll see you guys on Monday.